Hey, uh, Jim Brixen from the Brixen Family Farm and the Savory Life. Just thought we'd stop in and check in real quick. It's been a couple weeks, uh, a lot of things going on uh, health-wise and what have you, but uh, it looks good. Things are turning around up here. We're extremely excited about uh, how things are going. So let's turn you around this way. We do have carpeting upstairs now. Uh, carpeting, all the electrical devices are in. Uh, ceiling fans, outlets, the doors are not in yet, of course, but we'll get that way. Uh, the, Tiana's room, our daughter Tiana's room is here. Um, we've disowned Jamie, so Jamie doesn't get a room. However, Madison, her daughter, does. So uh, this is uh, the number one bedroom. Uh, right now, we're going to call it the master until we get the addition built on the on the house uh, that we kind of ran short on. So. Uh, all the painting has been done, although I think I showed you that in the last video. Lots of cleanup, man. This guy was a, was a pig. Look at that. Uh, we paid him a lot of money to get paint on everything. So uh, this floor, we're going to get this floor done. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to put uh, the Insta Heat uh, warm tiles in uh, the floor. So we'll uh, always have toasty floors. This is Minnesota, you know. So uh, we're going to redo the cabinets. The cabinets are all going to be uh, refinished. We've been looking at different things online and different ways we want to do things. So we're going to redo the cabinets. That's going to happen uh, well, probably this week yet. So I'm going to probably should turn the lights off because we're not going to be up here any longer today. Need the ceiling fans run because we like that. We still have to do the closets. Um, you know, it's really kind of a sad thing that, uh, and I try to, I don't want to be negative. I want to be positive this time because it's good, but you know, we paid guys to do this kind of repair and it's just sub, sub uh, standard repair. Turn that off. Oh, look at that. We got lights up here. There's not going to be any trim on for a while. We're going to trim everything out sometime uh, in, uh, sometime this winter it would be my winter job. This here wall, we're going to put shiplap on. Uh, oh, Lee and I did all this woodwork. Not quite completely done. I gotta come up with a piece of trim to, to blend those two together, but Lee and I did all the woodwork up here. We have a banister getting ready to go up. You'll probably see that in the next video. I decided I wasn't gonna put that up until after we get the furniture upstairs. So uh, all the carpeting, like I said, all the carpeting is done. Uh, we we backed the, the risers. We made them out of popple and put gun stock coloring on them. Uh, Lee again did that. Uh, worked really hard on this stuff. So uh, uh, the other big thing that's happening, other than the lights and the electricity and stuff, uh, we got our kitchen laid out. Uh, countertops are in. I just haven't brought them here yet. So tomorrow we're going to hang the uppers. The uppers are ready to go. Uh, they're all right here, the doors and what have you. So the uppers will go up tomorrow, then we'll finish out how we do the bottom outside, or put the, the lower, the lowers itself. So uh, it's been, it's been a journey. I'm really happy, there's been so many people, Ali and I are just pumped. Uh, so many people that have just really come and surrounded us uh, since the accident. Uh, and you know, the best thing about that is it, <clears throat> There was no expectation of that at all, and it just happened. Uh, our family and friends, uh, Jamie and Kayla, really stepped up in our our life. We had Pastor George uh, swinging a bat for us, and uh, in his corridor, or our, our uh, stomping grounds in Albert Lee. So, uh, been things have been very good. We really appreciate all the help. Lee was able to mow uh, for three or four weeks. We weren't able to mow because of the uh, because of my accident. And Lee was with me, we were in the hospital for so long, but we finally got Lee, finally got it to mow. And uh, still have a little bit of mowing to do to get that garbage stuff done. Um, we got turkeys in finally. Uh, we finally got a batch of turkeys in, but it looked like we have five or six of them that are dead. I don't know what it is with turkeys. Turkeys are just crazy, uh, just tough to work with, I think. Um, I've never had so much trouble with poultry before. Uh, my friend Dennis and Deb uh, Beckel did this uh, John Skoskovich uh, chicken tractor. Uh, we currently have chickens in there. Uh, some 
uh, copper morans. And I think there's a couple of pheasants in there too that got sent to us by accident um, from a different vendor. Well, uh, tractor, a tractor supply place in Bemidji. Uh, but the copper morans we got from uh, some friends of ours out east. And Dennis did this. He did this. Uh, well, look at that. They are so nice, man. They are growing fast. Dennis uh, and his wife put this together for us. Uh, it was a big help. Again, while I was sick, sometimes things happen, you know. So uh, we're moving this every day now. We're going to be putting uh, the roosters. We're going to be calling our roosters here pretty soon. Uh, I have another 160, 70 feet of uh, wire mesh coming or wire fence from Premier One. That should be here. It was supposed to be here today, so it might still end up being here, but we're going to make a chicken yard out of that. Then that, uh, that hut is going to stay as a permanent piece. We won't move it anymore. We'll just make a chicken yard and we'll move the chicken yard like, uh, like make the, the hoop house center because it's so stinking heavy and that should just be able to turn it in circles. Uh, big, big area, let the chickens get in there. This is about a week's worth of damage. Uh, of them scratching and tilling and eating the bugs and uh, we really need to move them more often they're getting older uh, so they our geese are getting huge I'm going to turn the fence off here we'll go in there and check it out I haven't forgot to do that yet but I'm sure that one of these days soon I'm going to forget to turn the fence on or off before I touch it so the geese, the geese are growing so thick and fast. Uh, right there is a, uh, the speckled ones are speckled Sussex. And the other ones are, gosh darn, I can't remember the names of them now. And we have some African geese. Uh, I think we have uh, five or six guinea hens in there. But they're, they're doing extremely well. i uh, just been very lucky. The geese haven't figured us out yet. I'm hoping we have a pair. Uh, and not two boy geese and two girl geese. Uh, not necessarily that I want to raise geese, but I do want to um, want to be able to have the opportunity. Sorry if I'm making you dizzy. I have the opportunity to um, reproduce them if needed. So last thing I need to do is get shocked while I'm trying to play with this. I'll walk into the this is where we're going to do our, our chicken yard. We'll be out here then. Uh, this used to be like the stockade area. We're going to just make that into the chicken yard. The white posts you see sitting, standing up are the posts that we use for um, just to identify where our dog fence is. We haven't buried it in yet. I want to use 14 gauge wire and the stuff that we get has like 22 gauge. So uh, just having, again, haven't dug it in because I've been sick and uh, we'll probably get that done. Oh, maybe next week or so. So we opened the, we lost some rabbits. I, I think I probably talked about that on the last one. You know, lost our rabbits or lost three of our New Zealand rabbits. And I think a lot of it had to do with airflow. So we opened up, look at them dirty dogs. Opened this up and the dogs kind of seemed to like it. Ben, Ben, what are you doing? Look you know how dirty you guys are. Rolling around in dirt or something. I should probably get in there and get some. You gonna say hi, buddy? Huh, Ben and buddy, you gonna say hi? They're mad because the labs are out and they're stuck inside. Junk, 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 and more junk. How are things going? So, so? All the bunnies are happy? Yeah. Try to figure out if that one's gonna make it or not? I don't think so. There's three of them. They're pretty done. Yeah. Cold. Do they get cold or? Mm. Yeah. Oh. So. My theory. Look at, look at Jabber. Jabber just loves these birds. So you got them all in there now. Are they underneath the heat lamp? <laughs> they know what they're doing. Eh? Oh, did you get some uh, apple cider vinegar in there with them, Marina? Yes. Mm -hmm. So okay. that'll help a lot too. Maybe if you put it in there underneath the It might. Light yeah, I just stick them underneath there and see what happens. I mean, you, uh, how many did we lose out of the shipment? Five. Five all together. We have three hanging. So no. five all together. There's two here that are barely. 
There's three that are trying to survive, but there's two that are gone, gone. Mm -hmm. So what's that total then? Let's say that five, the ones five. are, okay, five all together, okay. One third. The uh, Siamese rabbit that we, the Siamese satin that we lost, got out, is uh, running around here someplace. We've all seen him a little bit, and he was out playing today. We almost had him caught, uh, but we didn't. Didn't catch him. There's Graham. Graham, the grumpy guy. Say hi, Graham. Graham is crabby. He's, he likes to bite. These two girls here, are these the are these both uh, does, or is it a buck and a doe? Buck and a doe. Okay. Buck different lines, uh, different lines, different pedigrees. Yeah. And uh, we're, we're fortunate that our satins made it through the heat it was a tough it was a tough uh couple days and i made a super rookie mistake so uh, we did lose a few but anyhow uh dogs dogs you'll be much happier next week when we move here you have a u-haul scheduled for thursday for tuesday i'm sorry for tuesday bacon's getting a nice brushing about this time of the year you end up with an extra dog in your house so well, he's in good shape. What do you got to say? What do you think of the house? Who? You. It's good. I'm ready. Yeah? I'm ready. Stop. We have it all set it. up out there now. So when the kitchen is anyhow, we got to just finish the, just have to finish the uh, cabinets. We'll put some polyurethane on that. Well, other than that, it's about the biggest update for today. Maybe on Sunday, uh, might have some tiling done. Um... I know we'll have the cabinets in by Sunday, so maybe Sunday we'll blast out another one. Uh, again, I, I really appreciate everybody's help that has been helping us uh, physically, prayerfully, uh, financially, everything. It's just been such a blessing that uh, we know that we're not alone. At times, sometimes times get really tough, and this has been a tough one. Uh, today is my last day of work. I am retired as of tomorrow morning. So I look forward to, well, excuse you. I look forward to uh, being a full-time homesteader. I look forward to getting better. Uh, doctor, we did a bunch of x-rays the other day, and the, the x-rays are all starting to look good. So uh, hopefully, uh, with any luck here, if I continue to behave myself, we'll be able to, uh, uh, I'll be able to get better. Uh, maybe lose this brace here in the next month. Well, it'll probably be two months for sure. So uh, again, thank you for your prayers and your love. We appreciate you all. Uh, pass this on to family so they can all see it. Uh, I ain't going to talk about the like and share it thing, but you can do what you want. You know how to do that. Um, just appreciate you all. So from our place here, the Savior Life, thank you, God bless you, and have a great 4th of July.